The visual undercarriage inspection will help to monitor the condition of the undercarriage's wear status to prevent losses and unplanned production stops. We recommend to perform the visual inspection at least once a week. Before you start the inspection of the undercarriage, make sure it's somewhat clean so you can inspect all necessary components and locate possible oil leakage. Volvo has developed an undercarriage visual check sheet which will make it easy for you to stay on top of your undercarriage maintenance. First, fill out the machine information and if matrix or care track is available, the travel ratio onto the report. Go through the undercarriage one side at a time. Note that the idler is the front and the sprocket rear, so the right and left side are not mixed up in the report. Start by measuring the track tension. Operating with a correct track tension is important and will affect the lifetime of the undercarriage. Raise the track chain from the ground using the bucket. You must secure the machine using a jack or similar. It is not enough to hold the machine just using the bucket. Start by looking up the recommended track tension in the manual. Track tension is measured between the top rollers and from the lower track shoes up to the bottom part of the frame. If the measure deviates from the recommended value, you should adjust the track tension and enter the adjustment in the inspection report. Check the alignment of the track shoes to identify if any of them are bent. See if any grousers are deformed, has cracks or has damaged corners selectively over the length of the track chain. The easiest way to check for loose bolts and nuts is hitting the track shoes with a rubber hammer. You will hear if something is loose. If so, they must be tightened. Remember that all loose bolts and nuts must be replaced, otherwise they will come loose again as the material in the bolt keeps stretching. You have to drive the track chain to check all track shoes. Keep the machine on the ground during the inspection. Continue on with the track chain assembly. Start inspecting the track links for cracks or spalling. This is the most likely area cracks will appear, especially if you frequently travel with a sprocket in the travel direction. Continue to look for broken pins and pins that stick out. Also, look for cracks and deformation of the bushings. Check the link pin boss for side wear or damages. Shiny blank spots are an indication of side wear. Check the top rollers for flat spots on the flange. Smaller flat spots can be felt using your fingers. Make sure that there are no broken shafts, cracks, deformations or oil leakages. Check the bottom rollers for flat spots, cracks, deformation and oil leakages. Leakage on the top or bottom rollers can cause the roller to lock up and cause increased wear on the track chain and other components. Check the idler for cracks and oil leaks together with lateral deformation. One tip is to look through the track shoes in order to see more of the idler. Also, use your hands gently to feel for cracks or other damages. Pay special attention to the teeth profiles of the sprocket. Check for cracks, spalling and side wear. Use your hand to feel the teeth profiles. This will help detect deformation. 
Look through the track shoes to better inspect the sprocket. Check for loose bolts and signs of oil leakage around the plugs on the sprocket. Be sure to document all your findings in all of the inspections onto the inspection report. The last step is to compare the two sides of the undercarriage assembly to each other. Does one side have more wear than the other? By doing regular checks using the inspection report, you can take needed actions to keep your machine up and running without unplanned stops. You will be on top of your undercarriage maintenance and even see if the machine is operated in the best manner. Volvo's visual undercarriage inspection sheet is a great way to prevent unplanned stops and keep your excavator at work.